They are gossip, slanderers, God haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent way of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They are senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Although they know God, they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death. They not only continue to do this very thing, but they approve of them, of those who practice it. Because they choose not to retain the knowledge of God, this is what happened to them. Wickedness. Kind of. They become filled with every kind of wickedness. So what is happening in our society today? Wickedness. Evil. 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 See, evil. Wickedness is people who are indulged in sin, refuse to stand on the word of God. Evil. Greed. Depravity, the feel of envious, murder, killing of people. Today, killing of baby become the issue of the day that the politician campaign. Any politician who are going for election campaign how they support killing of innocent baby called abortion. Abortion is killing of innocent baby destroys a man that blood sucking demon you know why that thing is because they choose not to retain the knowledge of God you see most politicians who claim to be Christian they vote for this abortion you see politicians who are claim who are Christian they vote for abortion, they support abortion. Because this politician, this so called Christian, refuse to retain the law of God. They refuse to retain the knowledge of God because they see the call is God, so they don't have the reverential fear. If you have the knowledge of God, there's a reverential fear. You cannot do anything that go against the law of God because you know that there's consequence. If you have the knowledge of God, there's no way you can choose to go against the law of God because you know the danger that follow. You know the consequence for every choice or choices that we make. You will never do that if you have the knowledge of God. You see pastors who support abortion. You see pastors who know the truth, but they suppress the truth. I'm telling you today, if you know the truth, and you know that a politician telling you that he or she support abortion, and you are a Christian who know the truth, that that shall not murder, and you vote for that person, you deny the power of God. You refuse to give glory to God. You refuse to retain the knowledge of God because this is the knowledge of God, the Bible. This is God himself because it is the word of God. If you refuse to deny anything that is written in this Bible because of political affiliation, you refuse to retain the knowledge of God, to give glory to God, and you refuse to stand for the truth, you suppress the truth because they refuse to stand on the word of God. Wickedness, evil. You see how women being kidnapped and killed. You see how children being kidnapped and killed. Every day, children, you see, children get missed, girls get missed, women get missed, kidnapped. Before you know, you see their body is as a result of not retain the knowledge of God because the knowledge of God brings fear that's what the Bible says the fear of God brings the knowledge of God when you have the knowledge of God you fear God when you have the fear of the knowledge of God it brings fear there are things you cannot do 
arrogant. See, people are boastful today. Some people say all kind of things about God. Politicians boastful, thinking that they can give, they put themselves in the place of God to give men right. Women's right. It is women's right to make a choice for themselves. How dare you, politician? Are you God? There's a consequence. And if you say you are a Christian, you do that, there's a consequence. Because you refuse to retain the knowledge of God. You see so many things happening today. Heartless. People don't have heart for anybody again. You see somebody dying on the street. Hardly before you see somebody rescue them. There was a, a, that a lifesaver in in uh, florida that was fired because he was going to rescue a man that was drunk what is going on is because of rejection of the knowledge of the of the knowledge of god so many disobedient to shoot to parent you see children now don't 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 respect their parent even instead of children to respect their parent the society are telling parents to respect their children they even in school they tell the parent they tell the children if your mom, your pa, your parent do something to you you call the cops and lock them up. You see what happened to that pastor? It's because of not retaining the knowledge of God. Senseless. You see people don't have sense anymore. Ruthless. The thing that I want to talk more is God hates us. There are so many people today, their job is to go against God. There are so many groups of people who call themselves lawyers and all those things. All their job is to go against anything that name the name of Christ. God hater. It's because of not retaining the knowledge of God. You see what happened to the pastor in Arizona? A pastor that used his house for Bible study to preach the gospel. It was Jay. Even though they say it's a, it's a city code, that's not true. It's because of not retaining the knowledge of God. Retaining the knowledge of God. There are people, who not, not, they are not only doing it, but they approve of everyone who, who does it. Evil. All they do, they invent evil. Everything they think about is evil. It's because of not retaining the knowledge of God. There's a consequence. I'm going to go back to 18. The third part of this message, the, 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 uh, verse 18 says, The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness, since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invis invisible qualities is Eternal power and divine nation has been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. God wrought vengeance has been revealed to those who suppress the truth. Who are those who suppress the truth? Those pastors who know the truth but refuse to stand for the truth. You suppress the truth. Those politicians who know the truth but refuse to stand for the truth. You suppress the truth. The Bible says there is a punishment that's come. God's vengeance is awaiting you. It says because there's no excuse. God invisible. God power has been revealed. Whether you deny it or not, it's going to come to pass. There's a day of judgment awaiting for you. So today, for you to be able to avoid it, it is time for you to stand for the truth. You know, the, the only way all these things can be changed is for you to defend the truth, to stand, to give the due glory, respect that that is for God, to lift up the name of God. If you say you are a Christian, you must have the reverential fear of God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, it's a consuming fire. It's the one that created the heaven and the earth. He has the power to quench this earth in one day. Let me tell you, he has the power to say you will not see tomorrow. He is God. You need to respect him.